<sighs> I would have to sneeze as soon as I go online. Okay. There you go, guys. Welcome back to Bond 14 XXX YouTube channel. Today, I am running an illegal tournament. Finally. Now, quick backstory. Most of my amiibos have been stolen, the majority of the heavy cast that I have. So this tournament is going to be pretty small. This is the little characters that my friends use with their names, so you'll see who they are. And um, yeah, we're going to get this too. We have 10 teams of amiibos, and we're going to start off right now with the first round of amiibos. Actually, hold on, let me go ahead. Get the link to the stream. These guys, they don't know that I'm doing this. They have no idea that I'm doing this right now. So let me go ahead and just get the link to the stream. And um, stop getting distracted. But who cares? We're already here. We're already doing this, okay? Ah, there we go, there we go. Okay, okay. And now I hear myself. Sorry, I'm taking a while to start this, guys. I'm gonna get this started in just a few couple of seconds. So, the stream might actually start at 8:45, which is not a bad time to start. Facebook, can you move any slower? Thank <laughs> you. 
Volume is not good enough. <laughs> Alright, so red team takes round one. Will blue team be able to come back? Or is red team going to take this clean 2 0? Let's see. Going off to round two. And the stage selection we have here is. Alright, we're at Dreamland. Let's see what red team can do. A foot starting off with her early footstool. <laughs> Alright. Alright, looks like Sheik wants the monkey down while Fox wants the Meg Man down. Alright, Dishonest putting in some good work. Uh oh, Sheik's in trouble. Getting 2v1. Oh, they want the monkey off stage. Yeah, the monkey off stage. Can't find the kill. Meg Man comes to the rescue. And now they're both teaming up with Dishonest. Over 100% now. That Meg Man just seems like he's just not getting up with any of either of them. Whether it's 1v1 or 2v1, he's just going to come out on top. Hey, down smash, tell him that monkey to get out of here. This robot boy is mine, but not working. Mega Man and Diddy Kong with the team combos getting Fox out of the way. There goes the first KO on Fox. Monkey's still sitting pretty. It was explosive shield taking damage. Up, oh, Sheik's off stage. Can Sheik make it back? Sheik makes it back just perfectly fine. There goes the first KO. Sheik's um, lost, loses his stock. 
I might cut the stream to fix the quality because I'm finally looking at it. Seems like it's just making these weird uh, <laughs> borders. Oh my god, Mega Man just not. As I say it, <laughs> Dishonest comes with the up smash. Please let that stop. Now they're sitting even this match. Doesn't look like. Doesn't look like Red Team is dominating like they were last time. I mean, perhaps Blue Titan has, um. It's like Blue Team is finally dominating. Showing stuff, they still got some fight in them. Alright, Mega Man's all power up boosted. They gotta avoid them. Get away from the Mega Man. Don't do it. Don't try it. <laughs> He's just footstooling the box. He's just not caring. Whatever you try to do, it's gonna jump away or jump on your head. Alright, finally down smash. Neutral error. Doesn't get pineapple. What an angle. And does it again just to show off. What an asshole. <laughs> right, Mega Man with the clean up smash. Okay, Fox is falling into another up smash. He's gonna get third one. No, he jumps away. Well, there's just like electroshock therapy. Uh oh, there's two down smashes. One from Diddy Kong, one right after that from Sheik. Both red team off stage. Alright, Dishonest finds a clean up air, taking out that stock from Mega Man. Diddy Kong still living, blocking everything and making it back on stage safely. Oh, DBZ moment, they clashed. Mega Man wants the fox gone. He's grabbing him. Back throw? Yep. Is he gonna kill? No. A Sheik wants that. Oh no! This fox has like the best angles in the world. Any other player would have been died, would have dead. This fox is like, nah. And then he takes up, and he cleans up the stock from the monkey. Zips, zips in there to save his teammate, but what can he save himself? Is he gonna fall into another? Oh no, just runs up. Up smash it, then combos to a down smash. True combo, ladies and gentlemen. 2018, anything is possible when you're dishonest. Drop down with neutral air, gets hit by the peanut gun. This fox does not want to go down. He will keep neutral airing until he gets kicked in the chest by a monkey. Oh no, Sheik runs into the Mega Man up smash, which I believe was meant for Fox. Fox still living. Grabs a monkey. Down throw, okay. Misses the up air. Misses the down smash from the landing. Oh, gets hit by a down smash from the Mega Man and all things. Sheik fighting back, making sure they don't try any team combos, not having any of that great team attack right there. Oh, the monkey's stunned? Must have been an oh, right. Sheik has the paralyzed needle, I just remember that. Up smash from Sheik, will do some damage. Backs the monkey away, can they clean up the stocks? They are on their last stock and red team is at a deficit. Can they get this victory though? Okay. Oh, the footstool combo, no follow up, it's Mega Man, trying to run away from the fox. Mega Man sitting at 200%. If they can take him out, this victory is assured. Oh, okay, both red team off stage. No pot, nothing. Nope. Blue team just, you know, lets him back on. Opens the door, says, here you go, buddies, come back in. Oh, charging up down smash? Okay, just gets tapped by it, not taking out any anyone. This is still blue team's game. Down smash? Was that it? Yes, Mega Man is gone. Nothing but... Oh, there's a grab. Okay, four throw. Anything? Can... Oh, 208%. What's the monkey gonna do? He's gonna live life? <laughs> Alright, Diddy's off stage. Still living at 229%. Amiibos, ladies and gentlemen. They do not die. Oh no! Is he coming back? No! Diddy does not recover. That is the end of game two. Blue team with the comeback. Let's get back. Now we're gonna go off to game three. Tiebreaker between these two. Will they be able to come back? Is the stream okay? It's not. It's not fluxing or anything. Yeah, huh? Yeah. It's fine. No. It's perfectly fine. Uh, no. No. Funny uh -uh. to start it over. Uh, no. Just keep going to games that last forever. Okay. All right. So I could change the stream. I can't change the stream quality on the go. However, we'll just continue. <laughs> Reading the comments from the Discord. Yeah, sadly, that was a pretty, uh, pretty lame ending from Diddy Kong. Didn't have enough booster to recover. But you know what? We're gonna hop right into Game 3 and see if they can take the win. Will Red Team come back and prove dominance, or is Blue Team gonna keep the run back? Alright, pretty slow start. Up Smash coming out from Dishonest, getting good high percentage on both of them. Looks like Blue Team is coming right out the, out the gates, um, swinging hard. Fox still not taking any damn up oh, there, mind. He got grabbed in the ass on it. Um, Mega Man. All right, 
Just gonna throw Mega Man away while they focus on the monkey. Ooh, a clean up tilt coming from Mega Man on the Sheik. Sheik got 87%. Oh, Diddy Kong off stage. Not hit, not dead. No less Trump. Just in time to make an option. Good scrap. Oh, Dishonest with Tamos? Nope. Oh, explosion kill from Sheik Shield off the Diddy Kong. And right now, blue teams is looking like they are not going down. Down smash, clean down smash on Fox, on both red teams, as Fox just recovers all of his HP. Ladies and gentlemen, this is true dishonesty for you. When you can hit your opponent and take away your damage that you've taken, that's how dishonest of a character you are, which is why his name is Dishonest. Alright, back into the game. Sheep throws Mega Man off stage. Oh! He not only hits Mega Man with the forward air, he air dodges a catch the falling banana and recovers. Dishonesty at its finest. I just can't. There's just nothing, nothing else to say about that. Now that I look at it, that is a shocking banana from Diddy Kong, and he's just throwing it around, catching it. He does not care about the match. Smash Bros. is live, and we got an instant break with, into the Landmaster, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see. Is he going to get a kill this time? He does. He finds a rollout kill, barrel roll kill on the monkey, but oh, he does that again? No. Mega Man's just off stage, still living. Never mind. Fox not having any of that. Blue team really wants this win. Red team is just not finding anything to get through. They're just letting them take it. They are... Oh! This is it's just really bad right now. Like, I don't know what to say. I'm kind of speechless. <laughs> Red team just not finding any answers. Nothing you can do. Mega Man's getting powered up. Maybe they can start something else now. Find them good. Any KOs? Sheik's at 170, Mega Man. You might want to... Maybe? No? Okay. I'm not sure who he's targeting right now. Sheik off stage. Sheik's off stage again. Oh, okay. There goes Sheik's first stop. Looks like I guess they hurt me. But can they get the Fox? Fox is not dying. He's just jumping around, healing. Every time he kicks them. Oh! And just jumps off stage. Gets a clean back on the Mega Man. I'm, off, I'm really sure that blue team just wants this win. Red team not finding any answers. Nothing seems to be working in their favor anymore. Alright. Grab on the right Fox. So off stage. Except focusing on Sheik, trying to get a um, clean down smash from DK. Shoots a gun in Fox's face, who just he fails to re even try to reflect it. Sheik almost died from the up air. <laughs> looks like the Fox just style loses, finally loses his stock. And breaks it back to stage. Diddy again with the weak recovery, not going to make it. Mega Man saying, you know what, I don't need a partner. I can take Sheik out by myself. I can take both these bosses out by myself. Can he really do it? Sitting at 91%. There he goes his power up boost. What's he gonna do with it? He's just dancing around. Trying to grab. Miss. Miss. He's just jumping. They're moving too fast for him. You got Dishonest and a Ninja. Wow. They both power shielded his attack so well and it prevailed to nothing. Alright. Clean forward smash coming from Sheik. Mega Man still in this. No! There goes the grab, then there's the forward smash, and that's the match. Blue team taking the victory right under red team's nose. Great job from uh, our furries, Zero Terra and Arwing. Amy Pie and Pickles will be sent to losers as we move on with the rest of the tournament. Right, clap it up for our amiibos, put on an amazing battle for round one, as we move on to round two. Round two is going to consist of Ian and Gray. Now first let's go ahead and save their data so we can move on to the next round. Ian and Gray versus Metachan and yours truly. This would be an interesting match, a very interesting match. These amiibos have not fought in a very, very long time. So, all their movements, all their strategies, their fighting styles, it's gonna be pretty random in the beginning. As we saw, red team just clearly dominated round two, but then blue team the amiibos just got right back into the swing of things and just stole victory right from under nose, even getting a team KO. Unfortunate for Diddy Kong with that recovery. If I had a custom move, I'd probably give him a better recovery. That might help out. That might help out just a little bit. Alright. So, we have Ian coming in as the villager. And Gray coming in as the dark pit. We have Metachan, as, of course, coming in as Meta Knight. And yours truly, as always, coming in as the leap. Alright. 
Now, let's go ahead and set up this team battle. It's going. So, we have Ian and Gray for red team, Meta Channel League for blue team. And we're going to start get right into this match right now. Here we go. Round two. Let's go, blue team! We have um, Bias commentary here. <laughs> uh, bias fan girl coming in. And we're at Battlefield. All right, Battlefield. Let's see how this comes out. All right, first attack going on red team on the offensive again. Seems like red teams always want to start off strong, but can they finish strong? That is the real true question here. They are just starting off with a massacre. Will blue team even answer this at all? Let's see, there goes. All right, we get a double hit on the forward air from Link. Oh no! Okay, Mennonite living. Mennonite got five jumps. We, we're good. Blue team looks like they've woken up. They're like, oh wait, we're in a fight. We need to do stuff. Alright, up smash completely missing as Dark Rit just gets up from all those iframes. Alright, dodging the uh, side B. Oh, there's a grab! And there's a team attack! Is that. Yep, Mennonite's gonna lose his first stock. And they're trying to clear up Link's stock, and he's just, like, taking it and not dying. I guess up smash out of shield from Villager. Link's still living. Jumping in the air, dodging that as he lands. He's updating the air right now. I think he saw a fly. He tried to swat a fly with his sword. Not the most effective strategy, but maybe it works. You know, you can't charge a sunsman swordsman. Back in those days, fly swatters weren't a thing, so you pretty much had to hit him with anything you had in your hand. In Link's case, that is a sword. But in the villager's face, it says, Dude, we're in a fight. Stop following these flies. I'm just going to take this turn up, shoot it up your butt, and kill you. So I do butt up smashes, missing, and then, you know, villager's like, You know what? I feel bad for these guys. I'm going to jump into it for you. And he kills himself. He gets killed by it. Meanwhile, Dark Pit on the offensive is like, you know what, bro? I'm the true edge lord here. I'm the Dark Boy. You're not wanted here, Meta Knight. Get out. Like, I have Dark in my name. That's how big, that's how much of a bigger edge lord I am than you. And Meta is like, you know what? I have friends. And that's why that's why you can have the edge lord title, because I have friends, and they're going to help me out. And you know what? We're both going to just come after you now. Alright, Meta Link seems like a favor of that upbeat. He really wants that KO with it. Meta Knight dodging just right to get out of there. Oh, and Mennonite takes a metric arm. That's gonna sell his stuff. Up smash not killing even at that percent. But then again, these are amiibos. Their defenses are pretty high as well as their attack. So I'm not surprised. We're making it back on stage. And they find the KO though. Red team still sitting at five stocks. Blue team down to their last three. Alright, Dark Pit does not seem to want to go away. He has explosive shield too. Wow. Yeah, that's gonna consist of the problem. Oh, there's the grab from Link. What's he gonna do with the up smash? Okay, up throw. That will kill this time. Did kill it last time. He needed, I guess, 250 percent, not 150 uh, by normal, you know, smash standards. But when you're amiibo, you can survive an up throw up to 250 percent. All right, Dare not gonna land. He's just landing. That's free damage. No follow up on that down throw. There goes that turn up again. All right, down throw on Meta Knight. Alright, Johnny goes for immediate up B. Hits the first one, but not the second one. The edge guard, the romance is just gonna recover safely. There goes the explosive shield from Dark Fate. Sydney Link off stage. He's at really high damage. Up smash, not gonna take it quite yet. Link's gonna land right above him. Midnight's gonna take that electric arm. He's gonna make it back to stage. There goes the up smash from Villager, sealing out Link. Stop. Midnight by himself. He needs to land safely, otherwise, he's gonna end the world for pain. Link up smashing again, not gonna hit anything. Mennonite recovers, end up hitting the Lord Rocket. Another one, up smash. Oh, a team combo hit coming from Blue Team onto Dark Pit. Link has the final smash ball and seals out the stop and goes directly into the final smash against Dark Pit. Well, Mennonite assists. Nope, he's just gonna swing at the open air. You know why? Because he's Brawl Mennonite. You can swing at the open air and maybe it's still viable, but that's not Brawl anymore. This is Smash 4. Help, you, help your friend out, Link. Mennonite's in trouble. Actually, you guys are both in trouble. Link taking damage. This is actually pretty even, although, although with Meta Knight at his high percent, and there he goes. Now Blue Team, now Link is all by himself. Can he make the comeback against these two? Oh, grab it's a bowling ball. Not gonna finish him off. Another bowling ball, not gonna miss his mark. And there's another up B, and Link recovers his damage, not a high damage anymore. But can he can he take this victory? He's just, <laughs> he's gonna sit there and die. <laughs> The grabs are for the dark pit's like no bro I don't I don't like getting touched. Don't, don't touch me. I don't, get your hands off me. I have I already have an edge friend. You can't touch me right now. Okay, Link walking slowly. Because not really trying to figure out what he's gonna do, he gets grabbed again, thrown off stage by Dark Pit. He can't seem to land or do anything. Alright, it's back on the ground. He's gonna do anything. Neutral air, nice. Is that 
Okay, villager missing the missing the follow up. Back here, back here twice. He wants Dark Pit gone. He Dark Pit is gone. Link now has to worry about villager. Can he seal the stock against villager or will villager juggle him to death? There goes a spike into turnips. There's a trade off. There's a grab. Back throw. It was a boomerang. Villager not a answering back with a forward air, getting Link off stage. Another one. That's not. Nope. Link still living. We heavy. Zero recovery. Gap. Missing. Two areas. Oh. What is this? Oh. oh okay. Now Link's scared. He's just gonna roll away. No, I'm not. I'm not gonna attack. Oh, look at Smash Ball. Let's let's run. Okay. Amiibo's having a little conversation with each other. Okay. Getting the Smash Ball. Get knocked off stage though. Come back and hits the final smash. Is this it though? Is this it? These are Amiibos. Is that it? Is that gonna take it? Yes, it takes it. Blue team clutches out the win thanks to the Smash Ball assist. That's round one, ladies and gentlemen. Blue team taking it thanks to the Smash Ball assist. Ah, wow. That was actually um pretty surprising. Did not think um didn't think that was gonna happen. All right, we're gonna move on. We're just gonna jump right into round two. Let's see if red team can uh, redeem themselves because they had that match in the bag. <laughs> it's not rigged. The game is not rigged. I guarantee. It. <laughs> now, Manorite unfortunately did not put any kills on the board, but he did rack up some damage. Let's see if he can make himself known in this next match. Now, it looks like this time around, Link is taking most of the damage, while Manorite seems to be up. Combo opportunity! Okay, no, Lynx just wants to spin and joins the party too. So, no combos there. Villager has his invincibility up. So, if I remember correctly, oh, that is a tiny shield. Footstool. If I remember correctly, Villager has an ability to where after he reaches 100%, he has invincibility for 7 seconds. Great, great follow up from Dark Pit in the air. Oh, landing with the dare on Dark Pit. Up smash not being able to finish because it clanked with the Lloyd Rocket. But if they're going to live, Dark Pit not letting any of these guys lit, uh, land safely. Shooting an arrow, misses. He has a grab, free from the Red Rocket. Great prediction. Red. And there's a down smash, sending Dark Pit off the stage. Blue team looking strong. This game's looking a li lot more even. Mary Knight coming in with some uh, actual combos. Up smash, there goes Villager. Mary Knight not having any more playing around. I'm going to rack up damage, and my strong friend here is just going to knock them all out. And it goes to Tripping Weed. Now, Villager's custom move. You get anywhere near that branch, you gotta trip. As we see Mennonite like, getting stuck behind it. Saves this edge guarding friend. Okay. Alright, Dark Pit gonna live. Dark. Oh! He's living that back throw. Unbelievable. Okay, there goes Link finally in his first match. And deep. Yep, Mennonite like, follows shortly. Now this game's evened up slightly. Oh! Shield break! Are they gonna do anything about it? Uh, no, okay. Just up tilt, that's fine. Alright, just racking up damage here. We got two grabs. <laughs> one from Meta Knight, one from Dark Pit. Villager escaping that deadly combo as Meta Knight realizes he's invincible and just up these in the opposite direction to get away from him. Up smash coming up from League. Will KO! Alright. Villager and Dark Pit really need to find a way to make this comeback. You guys don't you don't wanna go you don't wanna go too O. Oh. Not this early. Come on guys. I know you guys love play Smash anymore and I'm talking to the actual people here. But you don't wanna go too O oh in a team base. Come on guys. Red team, show us something. Alright, get back to the match. No more coaching on the side. <laughs> Commentary coach. I'm fired already, lost my job, second paycheck. Okay, up smash into um, neutral air from Dark Pit. Not gonna, not the best combo, but Link is. Whoa! Whoa! Link using his final smash to recover to the save. Locks on the Dark Pit, not sealing away the stuff, but um, definitely a way to come back after you've lost both your jumps. After you lost your jump. Neutral air coming out from Meta Knight will take the stock away from Villager. Up B on Dark Pit, not gonna TO. Villager comes back, like, you know what, bro? That was uncalled for. Take this ball, hold it, and die. Dark Pit landing with a back air, sealing away the stock, and now here we are again. Dark Pit at very high percent, but if he can just keep moving, he'll be fine. Red team can still bring this back. There goes a dare, Dark Pit still living. Uh, never mind, I spoke too soon. Link's like, you know what, he needs to go now. He's the biggest problem here. They're getting tripped up by the vine! 
There's a grab. Villager has them. Edge guarding me. But only the bridge. Can Villager really take this back? Oh no. That's a grab. And he still has a trip, so no recovery. Okay, he got his invincibility. He can do something. Or, uh, you know, they're just gonna roll around. You know, they gotta bake them cakes. Gotta break that bag. Rolls all the way. Alright, Link trying to land with a dare. Not sure what he's trying to do. Mennonite going off stage as he as Mennonite to do. Link up, up being. Oh, there's an up air, and that's the 2 0. Blue team will take this game 2 0. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. That was. That was pretty. Wow. I'm still in shock that Link just recovered using the final smash. I just honestly don't know, you can freaking Locked do on. <laughs> yes, yes, you can do that in Brawl. Link's range on his final smash is almost as far as his arrow can shoot. So the fact that he used that smartly to recover was just, um, shocking. <laughs> he saw Dark Pit and he's like, I'm off screen. He doesn't know I see him, but I see him. He can't see me, but he's gonna see me soon, real soon, and bam, just dives in. <laughs> oh, hello, Evie. <sighs> All right, guys. So, clap it up for our amiibos here, and we're gonna go ahead and save the data as we move on to the next round. Next round coming up, I will go ahead and announce it. Oh, okay, so it looks like Zero Terra and Arwen will be making a return as they fight SRK and Kronos. Oh, this will be uh, quite the fight here. Unfortunately, I don't have the amiibos that SRK and Kronos use. One thing, I've never bought Ness, and another thing, my Ryu amiibo that would have been SRK was stolen. So, I had to go into my, had to go help, uh, help from Manachan into deciding what characters they should play, and so we have decided from past history, and for SRK, we have the perfect being with the perfect jawline, <laughs> DDD, and for Kronos, we have the ever so slender and sexy and fast Zero Suit Samus. This match will be a great one. And here we go. Starting round one. SRK Chronos versus Zero Terra Arween. Here we go. We're at Smashville. Pretty uh, standard. Okay, <laughs> SRK going for the immediate down tail and the Sheik just saying, nah, take this explosive steel instead. Alright. Alright. Looks like they're, um, they're just getting into it. Oh no, there's a reflect. There's a grab. And so that. You know, this is pretty interesting. Zero Suit Amiibo has on a tendency to pretty much bounce off everybody, even her teammates. So, there might be some deadly combos coming up from these two. As I say that, there's a get up account and get up attack into an out up smash. DD has Fox back throws. Oh, there goes Sheep. I'm not sure what he hit. Oh, he hit the balloon. That's <laughs> okay using the balloon combo. That is true combo. Hit the balloon, you win. So this victory is pretty much a share for blue team because uh, SRK hit the balloon, so they're gonna win regardless. All right, so DDD, when he reaches 100%, he gets faster speed, faster power, and much harder hits. As I said, that he down, he dares both Zeus, both Sheik and Fox. They want this Tangling gone. Can Zeus suit help her team, his her teammate, or she's gonna flip around, look pretty, because you know she wears short shorts, and we everybody loves short shorts. Oh. It's a Mr. Arrow on the clock. <laughs> Going off stage. It's can you get? Oh, oh, okay. That uh, that Gordo went into the, that Gordo. And we'll see. We'll see that Gordo in Smash Five. It, it just disappeared. He's gone. Oh, double KO on the heavy and or Fox Zero Suit still living. Sheik wants that Zero Suit gone. Fox taking some damage. Gets paralyzed. Up to Smash Ball is out. Back air on the Smash Ball, which was mint. Oh no, Fox taking this damage. All this damage. That bomb actually missed. Not exactly sure what happened here. I missed how that missed, but um, apparently Fox just, you know. He's like, you know what? He hit me with that. I'm gonna give it to him. Just fall through with that. I guess when you decide. Oh! Oh no! A suicide attempt from SRK doesn't work out. Only he dies. He spat Sheik out a little too soon. Not really sure he meant that, but yeah. Yeah, that's unfortunate. 
Zero Suit at 164, now that I look at it, still has all three of her stocks. And there goes the first KO from Zero Suit. Back air coming from Zero Suit on the Sheik. Okay, it looks like she's found her target. Stops her into the ground, misses the forward smash as Sheik escapes. You know, just like, I'm just gonna set up again. Left tilt. Uh, grounded by- Oh! A smash into Bear! Team combo. That's the deadly team combos I was talking about earlier. These two have so much potential! And there you go! Another one! Down- Stop him into the ground. Down smash. Get him out of here. Fox is now in the ground again. Zuzu just wants to keep setting these up, so then DDD is gonna knock him out of the park. If DDD can actually land, though. Fox. Oh! Saves his teammate with a forward smash. DDD immediately shares off. What's that revenge kill? Is he gonna get the revenge kill? Up oh, back arrow, Sheik. Back off my partner, Zero Suit Service. Comes in with the save. Fox is hopping around. Doesn't want to get... Whew, excuse me. Zero Fox does not want to get <laughs> hit by DDD. Oh! Oh! Okay. That might have killed, but we don't know. There was no red lightning. Another... Can Fox cuss this out by himself? Oh no, he gets caught! He gets caught! Oh! oh. I see now. Okay, well. <laughs> Fox might have escaped, but that bomb just came on and said, nah, bro, you died. So, Blue Team will take the first win of round one. Wow, DD got the Smash Ball two times, and twice Fox got out because Josu jumped on his head. <laughs> okay. Alright, so we're just gonna. <laughs> I'm just gonna get past that and hop in around two. <laughs> oh man. Alright, here we go. Hopping into round two, and the stage we're going to is Lilac. This must have been a counter pick from Dishonest, because you know, Dishonest stage, Dishonest character, what else could you ask for, right? Alright, here we go. <laughs> SRK rooted for his DDD. Wants that victory, him and. Alright, let's see. Now, we have two people, actually no, DDD is from space, and Zero Suit Samus is in space, so they're pretty much used to this. Sheik getting an explosive power shield off DDD, backing him up, but they're not having it. Oh, as shit. Fox <laughs> takes massive damage, and up air, he's still living, uses his double jump, lands safely, and Sheik says, you know, I'm gonna shield and you're gonna blow up, and that's how we're gonna do this right now. Back throw coming from Fox, up tilt, up air, just missing the second hit, might have killed, might not have. These are Amiibos. DDD coming in close to Fox, gets the grab, forward throw, and there goes Fox's first stop. I don't know if Amiibos know how to DI, but I'm going to assume that was no DI. Gets the forward air, goes for the down smash. Oh, they're both stunned. There's the grab. Back throw, no follow up. DDD is grabbed. Okay, Josu comes in with the clutch save. Oh no. Okay, Sheik just uh, clanks with the star, so it doesn't take any damage or any knockback. GD comes in with the floor air, hits both of them. Oh, walks in with the up smash, does not get the kill, just knocks him off stage. Back throw, GD's off stage, tries to go for the paralyzed needle, doesn't find the smart. GD with the up air, Sheik goes flying. Fox misses his forward smash, get cut, gets caught into an up tilt, up chair. Oh, Sheik gets uh, launched and then spiked back to the ground. Zeus is saying, I'm not done with you yet. I'm going to take out your friend, and then you're next. Okay, not finding the kill on Sheik. Oh, but there was a Gordo. The edge guard Gordo. And blue team's still sitting at three stocks. Well, red team fucks down to his last stock, and red team needs to find a way to... Oh, where are you going? Oh, that's the second jump. Okay, you sit. All right, got distracted by Fox. Zipping off the stage as uh, DDD's first stock goes. Fox really wants Zero Suit dead. He's not even paying attention to the Penguin, which is pretty bad, considering that he just says Steve and now Zero Terra by himself. Will Fox do the shit? Yes, he does. Wow. Okay. Oh. There goes Fox. Okay. Fox is online. Looks like he's finally awake. He is going in on DDD. He just he's, he's just hovering. Like, you know what? You're not going to touch me. You're not going to grab me. He's just going to keep... It's just gonna keep hovering right there. I'm, you're gonna keep kicking at nothing. Fox just waiting for that penguin. He does not care about Zero Suit. He just wants that penguin gone. Well, you might want to pay attention to Zero Suit because she's still there, still creating a problem. DDD gets grabbed as he goes for the attack. Fox getting knocked off stage. Tried to land, runs, lands right into an up smash. Not enough to kill. Doesn't necessarily send him anywhere. Fox wants DDD gone. 
He just wants <laughs> this ping right now. He doesn't care about <laughs> he doesn't care about Zushu at all. He's literally everywhere that Penguin is, that's where Fox is. And fortunately there goes the ignored Zushu with the back air on Fox and there goes the neutral air forward smash as Fox is taken out. Blue team will take this win 2-0. You know, you pay attention to the elephant in the room and you forget about the mosquito flying around. Alright. Now, SRK and Kronos will move on as Zero and Arwing moves on to Losers. Now, we'll move on to round three of Winner's Side. First off, let's go ahead and clap it up for our Amiibos for excellent performance. Unity against Zero Suit. Somehow, surprisingly, making a great team, but you know, if you have a perverted penguin on a team with a sexy slender bounty hunter, I think I'd give it my all too. No matter how big and uh, large I uh, I was. Plus, if she likes seeing a large hammer being swung around, who knows? Maybe she'll come to your side. Who for thought, ladies and gentlemen? Who for thought? All right, I'm gonna save our data. I'm gonna move on to the next round pretty shortly. I need to get like another headset or maybe just a mic. Next time I do this, I'd like to have my friends over so we can get some uh, bias, unbiased co commentary going on here. Right now then, next match we have G Dark Knight and Link Knight versus Hentai Man and Anime Sean. And where are they? Of course, since I'm Link, I could have had another Link, but I decided not to go to. So Link Knight will be rocking his Mark. Money match. As in money match. Money match Mark. <laughs> G Dark Knight. Okay. Apparently the um gamepad wants to play. Uh, no, you can't play. Not the way. Let's try it again. Because you guys are running to each other. There you go. Perfect. You guys are teammates. Be nice. And Hentai Man Anime Sean. Now, of course, Hentai Man being a Hentai Man needs to be Hentai Man Pikachu. And for Anime Sean, we have, of course, his waifu. <sighs> Alright. Alright, the combatants are set. Let's get this going. It's time for a death battle! Smash. Featuring Smash 4. And we're at Dreamland. Here we go. Fire Emblem versus Pokemon anime people. And oh my god. Already, Pikachu is just taking a lot of damage. A shield break already. Will it be a punish? Any punish? No? No? Again? Just gonna walk up, stun you, and hit you again. Pikachu going for uh, Praise the Sun. There you go. Praise the Sun down smash. Can they make it back? They have incredible jumps. Lord, they didn't even need to like recover with their upbeat, they just jump. And unfortunate pineapple for corn. But Pikachu's like, you know what? I'll praise the sun and kill that uh, money match guy. How dare he try to money match me? <laughs> yeah, I need my money for hentai. You can't have my hentai money. Oh, and an excellent counter from Lucina just going in on corn. And another pineapple! I'm starting to think that corn just won't be able to oof. Recover from the stage as uh, Pikachu takes a nasty tip for death. Lucina off stage. Uh, okay, um, Marsh with the perfect thrust, and Pikachu not able to recover from that footstool. This is looking really bad for Blue Team. Oh, and there goes a combo attack to take out Lucina's stop. Marsh taking 89 damage within two seconds. Is this melee? I think this is melee. This is probably melee. I don't know who these DLC characters are, but this is melee. You got Marth, Bad Marth, and uh, Dragon Marth with Pikachu. This is actually um, Smash 4 League, but we have like three Marths on this stage right now. Okay. We've seen it with the final Smash Ball. Corn SDs again. Pikachu praises the sun, only to praise death. Oh! And there's that. Round 1 goes to Red Team. Uh, probably our fastest match due to the fact that Blue Team just could, did not know how to recover. They're just too busy, you know, being anime weeaboos and hentai men. People, lovers. So, um, okay, that's round one. Not much we can say about that. We're just gonna hop right on to round two, and hopefully, you know, they'll get their heads in the game and off their computer strings. All right, round two. Stage is set. We are going to final destination. All right, flat stage, no platforms. Everybody should be able to recover. Marth walks in for the double counter. Doesn't get anything, so he decides to up smash out of frustration. All right, Pikachu praising the sun. Lots of damage on Marth. Not so much damage, actually. Recovers, there we go. Blue team at a pretty bad... 
Not too bad, not too bad. Praising the sun, there goes the stun. Follow up, follow up, on down B. Pikachu just likes praising the sun. Stun. Wow, that stun lasted so long that- Oh! A combo coming off the court. A double counter from Marsh, sending them the opposite direction of all places, too. He has the backwards counter, so if you get countered by Marth, you actually fly behind him. And considering they were on the other side of the stage, whatever he countered must have been that strong, because it still took them out. But, uh, you know what? What the- Corrin's just gonna go ahead and, um, take him out, but Pikachu finds himself off stage, and unable to recover, again. So we see, um, Pikachu needs to get his head in the game, hopefully, hopefully quick. The teammate needs help. Corn just trying to get back on the stage. He just Corn just wants to land. Lucina's not having it. He's gonna knock him right back off stage. What the, oh, that goes a tipper save. I swear these amiibos just know how to tip every time. Maximum output damage. There's a grab. Throws Pikachu back. Up air. Just jumps over the forward, the forward smash. Alright, skull bash. Finds a KO. Two KOs. No edge guard. Pikachu recovers just to get countered. Corn comes in, up smash from Marth. We'll take that away. And there goes another. Oh, manages to dodge it this time. Not going corn, not going down that easily, Rayman. I came to. I chose to join Smash. I'm not going back. I'm here for a reason. You're not going to kill me the way you took my Kaylee out. Poor corn though. Every time he attacks one, the other one counters, so he can't get too, too hasty. Just wants to. Oh no. Stuns Lucina. Oh, but this is melee. Will we down? Will we dare to up air? And there's the match. Red team just takes that pretty easily. Ah, boy. Corrin looked like he, she was gonna put in some work, but apparently not. Pikachu just wanted to jump around and praise the sun and be uh, derpy. Should have named the derpy you. But sadly, that's the end of that. That match will go to Link Knight and Deep Dark Knight. The Knights are on the same team. Alright, so we're gonna clap it up for those guys. Good job out there. Maybe I should change Pikachu's special, so it'll be a little bit more useful. Alright, now, let's go ahead and move on. This is round two of another round two set of Winner's Sight. And up next we have... We have Joseph, or JK... And Alex, reigning from what school are they from again? Team Animal. Team Animal. You know the school that they went to. They ended up burning down to the ground. Versus Mchan and Link Fourteen. This will be an interesting match. Mchan Link Fourteen coming back after taking victory over who they fight again. They fought Ian and Gray. So it looks like, so, alright, so teammates are set, looks like they're on blue team again, red team gonna consist of Kirby, Dr. Mario. These are two pretty, pretty good, um, this looks like a pretty even matchup, you know? Although, everybody's pretty much shorter than Link, so I highly would not recommend a smash, but unfortunately, Amiibos don't hear what I'm saying. So, we're gonna hop right into round one. Alright, we're at Battlefield, there's platforms, that's um... I don't see how that works out. Immediately. <laughs> Meta Knight just going up. Meta Knight and Kirby just going after each other immediately. It looks like there's some sort of rivalry at this Amino school. <laughs> oh, and you know... Alex always wants to fight me in Smash, so of course he's gonna fight me. Up oh, there go, there he goes. They're really going at each other. Oh, wait, hold on, Never mind. Back here to a dare on Kirby. My god, this takes a clean 180 trip, but Dr. Mario coming in with that clutch. Oh, okay. You know what? <laughs> Justin's like, you know what? I want to wear a hat. It's a little cold around here. Give me that hat. Oh, 
Oh my god. But a standard standard attack into another standard attack and Dr. Mario's just getting eaten up alive. Kirby just walking around, sitting pretty. Just knocked off stage. Granny make it back. That hat is a good luck charm, Kirby. You should be able to make it back with that hat. Quick recovery from Kirby too. Alright, goes with up smash, Kirby misses it. As a dare, does a forward smash into back air, forward air into back air. Meta Knight goes off stage, doesn't get the full forward air. Kirby wants to get the hammer, and Meta Knight just says, Stop, you bad little boy, before I put you in bed. Blocks the entire thing. Smash Ball is live. Kirby coming out with the attack on Meta Knight. For Meta Knight, he's gonna be sit flying. Takes Link at the same time, because Link's just like, Hey, what's going on? And you now it runs to it there. Meta Knight immediately comes back with the neutral air. Probably wants to get Kirby back for that. He's like, that was good, that was clean, but here's a back air, that's gonna be your stop. <laughs> Dr. Mario with a perfect shield, has a combo, but gets um, sandwiched between a neutral air and a dare, and then again with an up smash from Meta Knight. Meta Knight not having any more of this playtime. He's not here to play, he's here to fight people. You hear him all the time. He wants you to fight him, and he will fight anybody. He'll probably even fight his teammate if Team Attack was on. Kirby's wanting to hang in. Oh, and Dr. Mario taking both hits of the forward air, not flying anywhere for the first hit. And again, Dr. Mario's just getting sandwiched. This poor, this poor doc, all he wants to do is, like, cure people, and then, you know, he gets beaten up. But then Kirby comes out with a hammer, he's like, stop bullying my friend. I will fight for my friends. I may not be Ike, but I will fight for them. That's a hammer. Up to Link. He slices, gets hit, and there's an up smash from Kirby, taking out Link's stock. Kirby's just sitting there waiting patiently. He's like, you're gonna come to me and I'm gonna kill you. Up oh, there goes Dr. Mario running into an up smash. And the game is pretty even. We have both Star Warriors sitting pretty at their two stock. Manone has the higher percentage though. Coming out with some little combos. No ladder combo, because I don't think I'm able to know how to do that. There's a big clash right there going on. Link taking some high damage. Manonite's like, you know what? I went in on this party. Forward air from Link. Back air taking a lot of damage and a lot of hit stun on Link, knocking him off stage. Oh, just misses the hammer as Dr. Mario's tornado just gets him out the way. Comes with another back air. A stage but clean stage spike from Meta Knight saying, No, you don't get to recover today. We're gonna take this victory and you're gonna like it, Kirby. A clean up smash from Link. Well that not gonna take the stop. And he's still not gonna get heal any damage off that either. Oh, a devastating forward air from Link, kicking him 0 to 82, I believe? Spin boys! Oh! A two frame punish from Link as Kirby tries to recover. Now, Dr. Mario cleaning at, shooting at another. Oh, that's it. He just falls, unfortunately, into another smash as Blue Team takes victory for round one. You heard the man. Victory is his destiny, and he will not. And he will ha take his victory. And somebody in the chat now. Hello there, Ignis. Hi. Welcome to the stream. Okay, you're Japanese. Pretty cool. Nice. Are you, are you Japanese or is your name Ignis though? Should I call you Japanese or should I call you Ignis? Mm. Alright. That was the end of round one. We're going to hop right into round two. And red team come back. Red team pretty strong. They weren't really getting body or anything. Red team still strong. <laughs> Alright, we're at Smashville. Kinda pick the Smashville from Battlefield. We still want a platform, but not three platforms. There's blue team. I'm pretty sure um Mennonite Link banned Lilac. Alright, so Kirby's ultimate special, when he lands on the ground, he sends a shockwave of rocks instead of this little shockwave. And he seems to be using that as coverage. Link going from the dare, I think he learned that from me, because he definitely died from it, which is something I would do. Meta Knight going deep for that edge guard. Kirby's like, you know, I can still jump. I still have jumps. You taught me this. Meta Knight intercepting that recovery, just scooping him up with the uh, mock tornado. Red team just focusing really hard on Link. Like, he's SD. He's like, he's at a deficit. We take him out now, we'll have the lead. Meta Knight's just going to town, making sure that they don't touch him. And Link gets a clean neutral air on Kirby, shielding at first dog. Meta Knight grabs Dr. Dr. Mike, Dr. Mario, excuse me, grabs Meta Knight, and Link just throws the boomerang, so they let him go. Now, okay, Meta Knight not die from the up throw. Will die at that time, because he landed on the platform, unfortunately. Link by himself now. 
decides to recover to get out of the way of that hammer. It's like, I'm not having it. There's no way I'm just gonna land into that. I'll recover and still get away for free. Because my partner man is gonna come back and you're gonna forget all about me. Link healing some of his damage off from that up smash on Kirby. Now everybody's seeing that pretty fair and decent amount. However, Dr. Mario, surprisingly enough, still at his... Still having three stocks. And as I say it, Link's like, you know what? Let me clean that up. Takes away that stock. Kirby almost gets double full up air, up smash, but Link's gets interrupted by Dr. Mario's explosive power shield. And then Manorite tries to aim for Kirby as he lands, but misses it, and Link takes full damage. Link just ducks to block the pill. He's like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna protect you, buddy. I'm just gonna duck down and block that pill, so you don't have to waste any shield. Link and Mennonite, Link and uh, Dr. Mario running over to see what's uh, going on over there. Oh! And the up smash dare combo on Kirby, who unfortunately just wanted to hit Mennonite with the hammer, comes back down and says, I don't care if you team against me, I'm gonna hit you with the hammer and I'm gonna up smash you and take away your stops. Now the game is even, Mennonite sitting at 40% from that team combo, Dr. Mario jumping to 45% off one dare, and now they're getting sandwiched between the two. Link not having any of that knocks them away with the force smash. Looks like both teammates are pretty much locked onto their targets. Link gets a grab, just pummel, no, no throw, gets another grab, throw off the down smash. <laughs> Mennonite spins out of there, and Link's like, I want to spin too. Actually hits something, while Mennonite hits nothing. Spin boys are online. That's a grab, back throw to Kirby. Is this the end of Red Team? Or can they make this back? Well, Blue Team take the victory and two out of two oh. This is a grab with grab from Link. Mennonite just jumping around, swinging at the open air, and still landing hits. Maybe this is Brawl. Because in Brawl, you can do that. Down smash kills. Yes, this is Brawl, ladies and gentlemen. Because Brawl, Mennonite kill. Link SDs, leaving Mennonite by himself. Will Mennonite be able to sell out this Dr. Mario all on his own? We'll see. Dr. Mario sitting at 195 damage. That is a lot of rage. Mennonite going for the first smash. You know what? Grab, throw, victory. There it is. Mennonite, go, Mennonite takes victory with a clean pummel to back throw, and that was the game. Link saying, you know what? I have faith in you. Go ahead and finish this off, my friend, and throws himself off stage. What a guy. So much trust in your teammate that you would kill yourself and let him do all the work. Congratulations to Link and Imchan with that victory as they move on to round three. Let's go ahead and submit these scores. The bracket is available. I forgot to mention this. Bracket is available in the description box of the stream. So if you want to see who's going to be fighting, or who's going to be fighting who and where, when and why, you can check out the bracket. It is in the description below in this in this um, description of the stream. Um, no, I'm not gonna start losers just yet. I'll wait until semi, we get to semi-finals, and then I'll start losers. Alright. Alright. Now, now we have some new players coming to the stage who have not yet been able to fight. On our teams, we have Tiny and Tyus versus... CC and Governor Num 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 Governor Freezer. Governor Num Num Governor. So, again, we have thoughts already set for our wing. So, for Tiny Tyus's substitution, we have the one, the only, the boy, the Roy. And for Tiny, Tiny usually is Duck Hut Dog. But for this occasion, since Tyus is melee. Roy, he has to go with Tiny, who is melee Jigglypuff. And for CC, because unfortunately my Palutena amiibo was stolen, and I have yet to have kept talking, I got another character he, I, I somewhat see him use, and that is Birdman himself, Freddy Wop Falco. And for Governor, again, Mewtwo, Jake, DK amiibos, both stolen. So we have somebody that Enchan says she sees him using, and that is the Blue Beast himself, Lucario. Lucari we have two powerhouses right now. We have Roy and Lucario. And Falco, Falco can do some pretty nasty things in the air, and Jigglypuff just sleeps on you, and that's it. And that's game. 
All right, hopping into the match right now. And we're at Town and City. Lucario started off with 60% damage due to his trade-off. As the match goes on, he just gets faster, stronger, and more durable. But right now, he needs to get in there because Falco... Okay, never mind. Falco's okay. He's taking care of himself. But Tyus and uh, Jigglypuff with these great team combos. A clean counter from Roy. And there goes a force smash from Roy. Like I said, powerhouse in the game. But there was an up air from Lucario sealing out that po other Pokemon. Lucario on a um, hunt to take out any other Pokemon he sees on the field. Now Lucario's Aura Spear may look weird, and that's because it is a trapping Aura Spear. If you get hit by it, you'll take continuous damage. Force Mass on Lucario, not gonna not gonna kill quite yet, as he just he's just flying around the stage, you know. Falco has a good recovery as a custom move, because, you know, it's Falco, I, I, I need to get to him. And there goes the Aura Spear trapping right there! Hits, hits Roy, sets him up for back air for Falco, but unfortunately does not find it. There goes a down smash from Lucario, only to get blocked by... <laughs> oh, we have Jigglypuff Puff final smash! He's drawing, growing, going, 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 going! Oh, Lucario is just like, I'm out! <laughs> not having any of this! And there goes a clean counter from Roy again! Killing Falco from the other side of the stage, and... Oh! <laughs> Lucario is dead! Falco, Falco comes in, he's like, nah, I'll save my teammate! Sitting at 248 damage, Lucario with Aura and, and Rage, and just not dying. Falco coming up with the save, there goes a neutral air from what? Almost not killing! Lucario is about to drift back and make it! Come back again. Unbelievable. Alright, looks like it looked like Jigglypuff was taunting, but I was just like a, I guess a whiff down smash. Down smash coming out from Lucario. Hmm. Down smash, me <laughs> taking out Jigglypuff. Down smash, trying to hit the Roy, but Roy's like, you know what? Blow up from the shield again. And there goes Nutra Air from Jigglypuff taking out Falco. Falco's gone. Lucario finds a back air on the Roy, takes up the stock as Falco share stocks to come back into this match. Can he make can he do anything to help his team? Or is he just gonna like blow up from Roy again and die? Yep, there goes the first explosive. He dodges the blazer, but he gets gets hit by a force smash. Roy just not liking Falco at all. He's like, in melee you were better than me, but here I have the edge. <laughs> so much sauce as Falco takes trying to back air on Jigglypuff, takes him out of here. Roy is at 36%. Both of these guys at high percentage. He can do this. He can make it back. Roy's just do ducking and dodging, running around, jump here, up, down, left, right. You cannot catch me. Up, up, B, up, Falco, not finding the kill. Knock the fort, find him, smash one. Uh, is this it? Is that? Roy finds his mark and takes them out. Clutches the win. Red team advances while blue team has to suffer and defeat. What? Oh my god, what a finish from Roy, the boy. Never count your boy out. Don't ever count your boys out. Alright, now, <laughs> Roy finds the clutch win. CC and Governor need to find a way to sell off those stocks a little faster. You know, Falco's kicking the balloon around, but you're forgetting about that Roy. He just kind of ran that out. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Going on to round two. Can blue team get clutch out of win now? We're at final destination. No platforms this time. <coughs> by the way, this amino tournament is brought to you in part by Aminify Productions. Caution, may contain salt. Alright, blue team uh, damage deficit can here. Of course, we call you always starting off with 60%. So. He, de he can take, he can heal his damage off if he shields and he gets KOs. Oh, forward smash coming out from Falco, knocking them both off stage. Not gonna find a KO off anybody. Lucario with the forward smash. Roy oh, is still heavy, and Falco goes for the down smash on the balloon again, just kicking the balloon. 
and Lucario, yes, eventually does find the kill, but they're both in high percent as Roy can easily just, like, you know, tap you once. Or Jigglypuff with the melee back air finds the KO on melee Falco. The only non-melee character here is Lucario, and that's probably why he gets to live a lot, because they're just ignoring him. They just, both Jigglypuff and Roy just want to take out Falco as, or Falco, or Lucario, excuse me, finds himself on the end of an explosive shield and a back air, and just, that's the end of his stop. Falco focusing on Roy now, wants to finally, finally wants to get him out of here. There's a whiff counter, no punish, got a blazer. Falco not doing much to answer Roy's damage. Okay, Fal Fal Falco is like, you know what? I'm not dealing with you, Roy. Many is in the past. That was two games ago. Get over it. Roy's like, nah, I wasn't here in Brawl. Those memories still fresh in my head. You come here now. Alright, Falco finally taking the fight to Roy. Doesn't find a KO. His shield is like literally a skiddo. And Roy's just like, you forgot me again? You gotta pay for it. Get some out of there. Back air finding Lucario as it bounces off Falco's shield. And there goes a forward smash from Jigglypuff. Falco saves Jinx from... Roy saving Jigglypuff from a potential... A potential... Uh, offstage scenario. Falco going off age. He has a good recovery. He can recover low. There's another foot still. Just jumps right back up. Because, you know, Falco jumps are amazing. Birds have legs. They can jump. They don't have wings. Flying is a myth. And there goes Jigglypuff again. Roy just it seems to just not want to die. And we're in with a blazer. No punish. Lose your air. Ah. Falco wants Roy dead. And he finds it. But well, Jigglypuff seems to be comboing Lucario to oblivion. He's like, you don't know what melee is? Here, let me show you. We hit you, and then we hit you again. Up, up smash into the grab. <laughs> As Falco and Roy are actually going at it now. Pretty evened out. Jumps into that. Okay. Oh, these are our final stops. These are final stops. I just now noticed it. I'm a bad commentator. I didn't realize that. How, how much? Up, there goes the up air. Jigglypuff. And Roy goes for the finish sheet. Up B on Lucario. Get this Pokemon out of here! Get this bird out of here! We're moving on! Congrats to Red Team taking round two, as Blue Team will be sent to losers round. Losers. Kudos to Team Melee. Alright, tap it up for both all the amiibos putting in for just putting on a amazing show. Ah. Now keep in mind these are all of my amiibos. If we do have another tournament, I would like amiibos from my buddies, but I know some of them don't have their own. In that case, they could just pick some of mine. Hopefully in the future I'm able to restock the ones that were stolen away from me. And then we'll have a bigger tournament. Alright, hopping back into it. Next round, we have SRK and Kronos going against D Dark Knight and Link Knight. This will be an interesting matchup. I'm I'm actually pretty excited to see how this turns out. You have um, our Fire Emblem card people going against um, Team Sexy and Team Sexier. Now, if you can find out who's the sexier out of the DDD and the Zero Suit, you might be, you might um, win a prize. So, who's sexier? You want that curvy, voluptuous woman of Zilsu Samus? Or do you want that perfect being with the perfect jawline, those perfect eyes, that oh perfect hammer, God. and that perfect belly <laughs> of D. 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 Let's hop into the match to see who's, who's, let's see who comes out on top. Alright, Lilac Cruise for the first match. Wow. <laughs> DDD and uh, Zilsu feeling pretty comfortable on this stage going here for the round one. Oh, and Zilsu finding all the hits on that update special. And they're just going to town. DDD by himself, he's like, I got a big ship. I'm okay. Just, we're going to keep the um, <laughs> poor DDD off stage. Same strategy as always, you know. Zeus is just going to hop around. They're going to bully the Penguin. And uh, Lucina actually finds 
the stage spike on them on DDD. Smash Ball is live. Anybody gonna grab it? DDD finds it. Anybody? He gets Lucina. Is this gonna be the end? She jumps out. She gets blown up. Again, so this is like, here, I'll give you an opportunity to um, jump out. And DDD's like, yeah, you can jump out. Not. LOL, you thought you did. Maybe off stage again. Zosu jumping around. Zosu trying to help out, just getting blacked away by those swords. DDD still living off stage. What a man. What a guy. And finds himself getting tipped. He gets powered up, but it's not going to save him from that knockback. Back air found on Marth. Zosu locking onto her target. Finds another back air on Lucina. There goes an up smash from DDD onto Marth. No counter. And there's a forward smash on Lucina again. No counter. That is the counter. And it knocks him the complete opposite direction. Zeus was still sitting pretty at three stocks. I thought he was going to get spiked. Down smash. Trying to get smart. Mark's going to take some damage. Oh, and Zeus just runs in with the forward smash. <laughs> Did he looking to end Mark's career as a smasher? Like, you thought you had range in this game. Huh, this isn't broad. Oh, get out. This is my game. I am the perfect being. You are nothing. And there goes a forward smash from Lucina, cleaning out Zero Suit's first stop. DDD just not having any of this I mean any of this mess. Do you know who I am, he says. I am the king. And you will submit. Submit to everything I have to offer. Submit to this body. Submit to this belly. Submit to these gordos. And most importantly, you're gonna come down here and you're gonna submit to this hammer. But looks like he's not like <laughs> Fire Emblem does not have it, guys. They are just knocking this king every which way. Giving a tour of the stage, and Mark gives him the tip of the light eye, saying, Here's a tip, shut up and die. <laughs> There's a Gordo, gets knocked away by the recovery. Zerosu kicks Mark away. He's not coming back. He's not coming back, indeed. And that's the first stop. There's the first teammate down. Zerosu is sitting at 120, 122, but again, you know, Zerosu is just going to be jumping around. Like, it's the team combos, the distraction. You see this body, you see this sexy body, and I see this sexy body and the sexy hammer. See this sexy body, here's a sexy <laughs> hammer. Team sexy, ladies and gentlemen. Gordo's out, disappears immediately. Wow. You see now, just unable to find a way to hit any of her opponents right now. Just trying to stay alive. Perhaps waiting for the smash ball. She gets smash ball and knocks him both out. That'd be incredible. Oh, there's Nusha Air. Four smash, not finding his mark. Blocks the back air, finds a neutral air on Zosu, walks under the forward smash, and now it says her and DDD. Can she bring this back? You got Waifu versus the top world's top Waifu. Now, who's the world's top Waifu? Well, whoever's the victor of this game proves themselves to being the best Waifu. DDD off stage, not looking good. You see him misses the two frame punish. DDD hits his neutral air, not enough to kill. How's he gonna do this? He just walks up to her. <laughs> looking happy and sexy. Up he goes. Down he goes. Lucina misses the mark. Down smash. Not going to land. Oh, works for up smash. Not finding it as Lucina interrupts with a forward air. Looks for the dare. Not going to find it either. There goes up air from Lucina. Another one. Doesn't find that. Wow. What a movement from this big man. <laughs> Just drops and runs. And there's no! up air. And that's going to take it as DDD cleans up this victory. And there you have it. Beth Waifu is DDD indeed. Red team looking pretty confident on Lila as they just continue to win on this stage. No wonder they went right here first. Unbelievable. Alright, hopping right into round two. Alright, round two is at town and city. Alright, DD is taking 99% damage right off the bat. You see they're going down low, but these amiibos have like highest jumps in the world. DD finally decides to land, but you know, there's a platform in the way, so it doesn't hit shit on nobody. Martin Nusina, Martin Nusina making the run back of the lifetimes. They are not letting up at all. Whew. They're not letting the guys off the edge at all. And DDD gets tipped, but apparently Lucina footstooled him when she was coming back, so he got saved. Not this time. Marth really good at finding new tips, and they both roll as a celebration for taking them both out, and they're just going and Oh my. The, the skies are not safe. 
And Zilsu jumps on the partner and says, like, yo, get your head in the game. We need to take these guys out. After this, we're going back to space. With this gravity, the gravity here is too heavy for us. Diddy looking in a bad position. Every time he's off stage with Marth, it's just not looking good for him. Finds the Smash Ball. Are you gonna do anything about it? Gets both of them. Damage, damage, bomb, boom. And they both die in the slowest death ever. Much slower than that guy in Austin Powers who got ran over by that card. But yeah, slowest so KO, will time from the Smash Ball. But um, they're still at a pretty high percentage. Diddy off stage again and gets punished. Town of City with low ceiling, still not low enough for these two amiibos to die, and there goes their attack. Gordo's hitting both players right now, and Blue Team looking like they're gonna take this victory clean. There goes a the counter, and DDD is out of here within. He just said, oh, there goes a the shield break. What are we gonna see? Double forward smash, only Marsh is gonna connect. Oh, poor Samus. Samus, get out of there. <laughs> She's jumping around, trying to use her body as a distraction. Marsh not falling for it, Lucia's not falling for it. One sexy is not enough. You need two sexies for this. And one sexy is just not going to do it. Unable to find any grounds. Land any attacks. Okay, finds a neutral air, but unfortunately it does trade. What is What, what can Joseph do in this situation? Oh, there goes the shield break, and that'll do it. Blue team not happy with the last match. And says, well, that's it. You're not winning another one. Let's see how SRK and Kronos are going to respond with that loss. Blue team coming in strong. D Dark Knight just wants to show off his waifu. <sighs> Late Knight just wants some money match somebody. Help this man try to pay his rent and his car note, please. We're gonna hop right into round three. And we're at Dreamland. GDD wants to take this wants the home state advantage. Technically, they're still in space, so we'll see how this works out. Forward smash, finding a smart on Marth, as does, he does not counter it, as he, as he can't hit nobody else with it. Both of these forward airs coming out from Marth and Lucina is just so, so bad. You, knock, you hit one person with it, and you just knock the other one away. So they're taking so much damage. As Zilsu gets out of the way, he recovers safe away. Oh, jumps right to an up smash, not enough to kill. <laughs> Zilsu just jumping out of the way, out of Marth's reach. Gets Lucina off stage. There goes Marth missing a combo. DD misses the Gordo combo. As DD's off stage, Marth going for the comp, going for the force match, not finding it this time. As he bounces a Gordo all the way over, but unfortunately not fast enough to save Zilsu's stock, who does lose it to an up smash from Lucina. Zilsu knocking them both off stage. They both recover. There's a the force match. There goes Marth. Lucina's still living. DDD sitting at 203%. This man <laughs> really wants to take out Lucina. Unfortunately, finds himself on the wrong end of her recovery. Goes for the grab. Goes straight for her. Marth with the final smash. What is he going to do with it? There's, that's a dead penguin. That is a dead penguin. And oh my god. First of all, getting combo. DDD, please save your teammate. Shoots Lucina at Mark. Oh, and just gets the combo of a lifetime for Lucina. Poor girl. Marth just knocks the Gordo away and allows Lucina to recover back to the stage safely. Up smash will kill? Up smash actually kills Marth at 104% from Zero Suit Samus. I honestly have no explanation for that as to why that killed. But up there's the Gordo to bounce and down smash will kill. Marth on his final stock, red team on their final stocks. PDD sitting at 103%. It's not looking good. He's a big character and there's a lot of swords. I don't think I don't know how penguins like being um I don't like how I don't know if penguins like swords. Especially when we get high damage, he gets bounced on by his teammate. Oh! And Zosu finds the KO on Marth, who immediately shares stock comes right back into the game. This is a uh, comeback opportunity. DDD has plenty of rage. He can do something with this. As Zosu times himself getting team combo, DDD off stage, Marth going for the finish. It's gonna be it? No! Zosu comes with the save! He says no! Enough tipping my my teammate goes for the K up. There goes DDD. Yes, DDD is gone. And now Zeus is all about her lonesome once again. 
Can she cut this out? Is she gonna get a KO on maybe Lucina? She might be able to hand him off by herself. Oh no, there's a threat and there's a false smash and there she goes. Blue team will take this victory away from red team, who are starting to make a pretty convincing comeback. But blue team, seriously not happy with the way they lost, brings it back and wins round three, sending red team two losers and advancing on into winners semifinals. Are they in semifinals right now? Yep. Yes, they will be advancing to semifinals. Let's go ahead and uh, save the data. Alright, moving on to winners. Round three. Right aside, we have M Chan and Link 14 coming back. Maybe we're facing off against Team Melee, consisting of Tiny and Tyus. Now, Venom Knight being a lightweight might not be able to be up withstand the attacks from Roy. However, Jigglypuff is also a lightweight. You have literally two heavy hitter swordsmen and two um, puffy pink balloons. Going around, flying around the battlefield. This match could literally go either way. Roy does have the counter on his side, so that will be his strongest asset. As we hop to the match, here we go. <laughs> Semi-finals will be a best of three in both losers round and winners round. The only best of five will be in winners side grand finals. That'll be the only best of five. All right. If we see the melee combos coming out. Alright, looks like pretty slow right now. Red team, blue team taking advantage. Taking uh, the lead right now in per as percentile wise. Four smash will find it, it, um, taking the puff off stage. Up, up tip on the Roy, not leading up to anything. There goes a neutral air from Roy. Link off stage. Misses the up B. No punish as he lands safely. Link takes out a bomb, just immediately runs up and swings a sword. He's gonna. He dodges right before his bomb blows up. Oh! Better than I went to dimension of cape. Now you see me, now you don't. Down smash will be blocked and he will be knocked off stage. Roy wants the edge wants the edge guard. Misses the up again. Link misses his punish. Those boomerang up smash. Nope. There's an up smash. Won't get the we'll get the sour spot of up smash. Won't take out Link. Get up attack hits Meta Knight. Oh, he blocks, he dodges it, but it lags off Meta Knight's shield and he gets hit by it anyway. There goes a clean upbeat from Link, knocking them both away. Jesus Puff surviving at 126%. Must be a god. Oh, he had he had he had Roy in the fort in the fort smash. And Knight saves him and hits both of them with a dare and double dunks them to death. And Knight realizing he's on this he still has three stocks and he has a high damage. So he's gonna jump and run away, fly away. You know, do the brawl thing, swing out the open air and just still hit people. Link jumping a little bit too high to connect his forward airs. Jigglypuff taking a clean 83% and not getting KO. Neutral air into a jab thanks to that hit stun. Mori getting comboed off the top off the platform right now. Up up B, but will not get the stage spike if decides to grab the ledge. <laughs> There's so much going on, I can barely commentate this. I mean we'll fight too fast. Oh, shield break on Link, but well, Knight save his teammate. No! Meta Knight tries to save his teammate, ends up dying himself. <laughs> Meta Knight, not happy with that, runs in with the immediate force <laughs> smash revenge kill on Jigglypuff. You broke my- you kicked me while I was protecting my friend? Fight me, you broke balloon. You know what? In the words- in the words of, uh, what's his name? 
I'm forgetting his name. Ah, there we go. And the words of MK Leo himself. Midnight's a little ball. Jimmy Puff's a little ball. It's destined that they fight each other. All right, moving on to the match. Roy was what? Sitting at a high percentage, but actually gets KO. Jimmy Puff charging up the roll out to hitting nobody. Link tries to dare. Midnight kind of jumps out the way. He gets scared. He's gonna hit him. Wow. To be quite honest, I didn't expect this match to be going like this. Smash Ball finally makes himself appear, and Tiny takes it and decides to make himself really big. This is the power of melee. This is how big our we are. Both of you non melee folks get out of here. Knocks Link out, but Metal kind of just, you know, jumps back on the stage. That move is all knockback and no damage. Metal is still going after that balloon, and that balloon jumps to an up smash, and there he goes. Now, last time this happened, Roy got a Smash Ball and clutched this out. Smash Ball disappeared recently, so I don't think it'll be coming back soon. But Roy's not looking to give up. He still has that counter, and there was a Dimension Cape, and Meta Knight KOs off of that Dimension Cape, definitely taking after his master. Dimension Cape and falling off the stage. An unfortunate SD, but it is something we all do. Roy finds himself off stage. He just needs one good counter hit, and they're both dead. That rage? Oh no! Okay, he missed it, missed the punish. Link did not go for the second hit of, um, Lord Smash. Holds him, holds him as long as he can, up throw, still not dying. That's a grab, that's another force smash, Un another unfinished one, neutral air, and that will take it. A Metatron special, jump neutral air, you die. Alright, red team takes round one. And I'll honestly, I honestly thought this was going to go the complete opposite way. But um, red team actually surprising me. I love that victory. But it's not over yet until it's over. We're gonna hop right into round two and see how this how blue team decides to come back. Alright, we're at battlefield. Definitely a melee counter pick. As <laughs> that goes directly for the Dimension of the Cape. Roy guards it and explodes, but does not get the damage on Mennonite and again guards another attack and does not get the damage on Mennonite. He throws, a, he throws a boomerang, gets blocked. He's like, you know what? I'm gonna throw it again because it came back too fast, and the class grabs him for that. Down, <laughs> down throw, and Gina Pump interrupts it immediately. Typhlosion, Typhlosion. Oh my god. Oh, I dared the forward air, and there goes the dimension of the cape on Jigglypuff, still living, 120%. Jigglypuff is the future. This is the buff that Jigglypuff mains wanted. Here it is in the amiibos, and there's the first KO found from Roy's forward smash. Meta Knight moving incredibly fast. He's like, jump, 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 drop, jump, down back here. You dead off stage. Okay, can he find the KO? Spins around. Oh, the whole here is the leak. Oh, what a team combo. You saw two of those lightnings go by. They both get crowd. And there's a sandwich between red team. Blue team, not. Blue team, almost. <laughs> looking like they're out of options here, but maybe not. Roy's just fighting off stage, trying to get off, trying to get back on the stage. Gene Plus kind of. Derping around, not doing, uh, helping out too much. Runs into a forward smash, smash, not dying, even at 126. This is the weight buff that Gila Plus mains want, so that I don't die every time somebody hits me and I fly into the air. Alright, some damage, just racking up damage right now. Roy's trying to sell a stock against Meta Knight. Almost breaking that shield, there goes an up air on Jigglypuff Puff if he finds it. Oh, Roy no. with the final smash, knocks them both out. Meta Knight falls, Link does not. But will he fall now? He's close to the edge, not looking good. There's an up smash, he gets kicked. There's an up smash from Meta Knight as he finds Roy. Roy runs to uh, up air, lands, he gets hit by neutral air. Meta Knight tries to follow up with up smash, not working. Link with a surprising true combo back air to up B. And it's like, whew, sorry, my nose is just like not cooperating with me. He misses the up smash on Roy because Roy just a little too short. Gets footstool. Roy's like, I'm not having it with you. I'm after your green buddy. I want him gone. But then it's like, you fight me or you die. I will follow you to the ends of the world. Earth. You at this side of the stage? What was that? Not sure what happened, but apparently Roy got a. Ah! 
Well, I got an explosion shield on Link, who is getting thrown by Jigglypuff, that so that his stop. Up smash finds Link and Meta Knight, who unfortunately jumps into it. Link dodges a far smash from Roy, and then Link Roy just spots away. Whoa! Jigglypuff finding herself in a dare and still living. Roy gets bounced into oblivion. There's the grab. Back throw? Nope, not gonna kill. I think up throw might have worked, but you know, amiibos do what they want. There goes a uh, forward air. Another forward air. Jigglypuff finds a way out of it. Blazer, a dare since Roy ex exactly to 90 as Jigglypuff finds himself in a dare, and that's the match as Roy gets hit by two up airs and just falls. Victory is his destiny, and he will not be denied. Ladies and gentlemen, Red Team takes this 2-0 and moves on to the winner's semi-finals where they will meet, well, they will meet D-Dark Knight and Link Knight. Congratulations to Red Team. I think I'll do semi. I don't think I can add them in. Can I? So, uh, all right, then we're back. So, thankfully, um, my partner here, Imshan, is a genius and realized that since I can take out two amiibos and put two more in there, and if I'm correct, the maximum it can hold will be eight saved amiibos. So we're gonna move on to winner semifinals, which consists of Red Team, Link and Mennonite versus Blue Team, Lucina and Marth. Linku, Metaton, D Dark Knight, and Money Match? Link Knight. Hop right in. Alright. And they're off. Setting this off. Mennonite gets a grab on Lucina. And there goes the counters. These counters are going to be a huge problem for them. Marth and Lucina both having two killer final smashes. Mark finds himself to an up smash. Link healing up his damage. And Lucina hits both of them with a up smash. Link's shield almost breaking. And he just hops around as Mennonite gets grabbed. Mark's pelvic thrusting out of the situation. Pelvic thrusts back into the situation. Link off stage. Doesn't that get the stage break that Marth wants? It was after Mennonite. Link saves the teammate. Oh, he goes for the dare, he's off stage, he recovers. Mennonite in the air, lands against Marth, Marth outranges him with his own forward air, and that kills. There's the bomb, there's a double forward air, knocks one person out, no deaths, somehow. There's a grab on Lucina, up throw, not gonna send him anyway, there's another forward air on Marth, he's like, I thought I killed you, guess not, here's another. Finds the stock on Marth, and we're even. Mennonite, Mennonite at 57, while Lucina still at 3 stocks. With an upbeat by Link, misses. A random up smash that Lucina just happens to walk into. Smash ball is live. Blue team has it. Link gets hit, caught into it. And now, red team at both their two stocks. Link needs to get in there. Blue team needs to find the answer. There's an up tilt that will take out Lucina's stock, first stock. As Marsh sits at 24% on his second stock. Unfortunately, the red team is looking at a deficit. Hmm. Falling back air from Marth. Very good. Nice. Down smash will take out Better Knight as he down, he down smash himself. Marsh's like, no, here's mine. That's a side tip coming out from Better Knight. <laughs> they both grab and pumble, but Better Knight escapes because he had low damage. Spin Boys comes out. Combo is not live. Link comes in with Nutria to heal some of his damage, but gets it right back. There's right next to Lucina, who does not, who misses her up smash punish. Footstools off Lucina to get back on stage, says Meta Knight. Link in a depth, Link can grab, just tumble, throw off stage. He, he hits Marth with that up smash. As Link is thrown off stage, Meta Knight looking, and he's in trouble. Both Lucina and Marth trying to edge hog him, he hits Kit with the down smash. He just walked back, casually walked back on the stage as Link hits a good forward tilt that actually KOs Lucina. Marth getting a tech off stage. There's a back air from the middle of the stage from Mennonite cleaning up Marth's stock. 
Red team both still in the second stocks, but at very high percent can still die from any move. Looks like they want Meta Knight gone. They're ignoring Link right now. Up oh, there goes a shield break as Link is uh, sit on the taxi ride to safety. So it looks like he'll be safe for now. And he falls back. Meta Knight misses the attack. Smash Rob is live. And Link dies. What's and Meta Knight gets his stock as he goes. Oh, how unfortunate. Now Meta Knight's by himself against these both these two swords. He's just getting outranged. Mark misses the spike. Mennonite unable to find anything, and there's the forward air tipper, and that'll take round one for you two. Alright, blue team taking round one as we move on to round two. Red team needs to find an answer if they want to continue this their win streak, but blue team also on a win streak, so we're gonna see how this works out. We're gonna dive right into round two. We're at final destination. No platforms now. Nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. The team comes comes in swinging. They want to secure this win. They want to end this now. They are not wasting any time going to work on the red team. The boomerang coming out. Get Menina out of that tight spot, but he's going to need a little help again. Lucina is just relentlessly not letting him out of her sight. And they both go out for the forward air and just demolishes Mennonite's first stock. Comes in with his air, hits both of them. As he rolls, Marsh just catches him with that. But Lucina blocks with a counter. Like trying to recover there and not giving him the option. There's the force mass and that cleans up Link's stock. Mr. Air, <laughs> Mr. Air's mark gets that damage on him, but can he finish him off? That was a good opportunity. It sets him back up with that Zare. <laughs> and then it goes for a grab on the person who's already getting grabbed. Up smash, out of shield, we'll clean up Lucina's first stop. Smash Ball is live. Red team might need this to clean to do something. As Marsh takes it, and he goes after Meta Knight, who's already gone. Clean up smash, well, that is a free foot. Double, double up, <laughs> double forward air from Link. Both of them connecting at high damage. It just sends Marsh to death percentage. You're not coming back from that. There goes the counter, a very quick counter, too. And there goes Link, as Red Team is down to their final stop. It is possible for them to bring this back, but they need to—they just have to co coordinate their attacks. As I say that, wow, she got out of that fast. There goes a force smash, and there's an up smash, cleaning up their two stocks. Red team not giving quite, not giving up quite yet. Link just rolling and dodging around, not letting you see to touch him. But now there's Mark. He misses the grab. That's a free punish. He's going for the grab. He wants something on this grab. There's an up smash. Here's uh, the damage that he hits by knocking both of them out. Uh oh, there's a shield break. What's Mark gonna do? Charge force smash. Not the tips. Not gonna do anything about it. Not gonna kill anything. There goes a fork smash from Link. Does not KO Lucina. Surprisingly, she's still alive. A drill rush from the edge. Whoa, haven't seen that. Back there from Meta Knight will send Mark. Up smash from Meta Knight will take out Lucina. Red team comes back and takes round two. When things are just looking bad. Meta Knight comes in with his with his signature quote, Victory is my destiny. This man will not be denied his destiny as we dive in to round three. The set is now 1-1. One, one. Whoever wins this moves on to Grand Finals, and whoever loses this will be sent to losers. Let's dive right on in. Blue Team has the counter pick. Where are we going, Blue Team? Where do you want to go? Do you want platforms again? They probably want platforms. And they got platforms. We are at Battlefield. Oh, okay, Link opening up with a, a fake out <laughs> forward air that sends Mark all the way to... Okay, Red Team not playing any games. It's like, you know what, you've had your fun, now we're just going to end this. As they are just going on a tangent, keeping these guys separated, not allowing them to get any team attacks going on. Also keep it separated itself, just avoiding all these counters.
Blinks off stage. Footstool. Marsh still kept his jump, so he's good. Up tilt on Marsh. Will not get the KO, but will land a lot of damage. Oh, there's a spike from Marsh. There's a dare from Link. Lit Lucina just living. Does not want to go down. There's a neutral air from Link. Still not enough to kill. As she is at <laughs> a neutral air from Mennonite. And she's still not going down. There's a dare from Mennonite getting Marsh offside. Lucina sneaks in a little force smash behind Mennonite, who's not paying attention. Comes in with a four dares or F of his own. The neutral air, they're both off stage against the corner. Marsh and Lucina at 200 percentage. Both of their percentages are just so red right now. Anything will kill. There's a four tip from Link taking out that fuck. Man, I want to force smash. Oh, there's a neutral air and a, a B. I'm not sure which one of those connected, but the Cena stock is definitely been demolished. As Marsh lands with a dare, says Link to the air. Meta Knight's grab, down smash will not connect because Meta Knight's body is just hovering above the air as Marsh grabs him. Meta Knight rushes to Link only to like skate past Merth and then Mar Link eats a force smash from Lucina as taking out his ceiling out his stock. Lucina goes for a counter, nothing happens, gets grabbed. There's the missile cape, uh, Mark Kevin thrust. <laughs> I should not have given him that special. But you know what? Shield Breaker, Mark from Evil is just too broken, so I had to balance it a little bit somehow. Up smash from Mark. On Mark, will not KO. So you can't rack up damage. Manai's getting juggled by Lucina, who's not really happy with um, the way he's been treating her lately. They might be breaking up soon. Hopefully not. It's a fight, guys. Get over it. It's all it's all for the field of battle. Link comes out with a standard jab, knocking them both way up. Bomb does significant damage as Meta Knight gets popped like the balloon he is, all the way up to the sky. Fabric Thrust knocking Link off stage. A dare does not find his mark. I swear to God, Meta Knight was healing off of every foot. Link looking for something as he gets footstool. He's looking for somebody. He's after somebody. Who is he going to go? He's he wants Marsh. He wants to see that he doesn't know. He just throws up the chain. Chain doesn't hit anybody. Mennonite hits. Mennonite hits Lucina, healing off the damage. Link gets up, smash, does not get killed. Mrs. Whips is grabbed against Marth. Finds the up smash out of shield and sells out that stock. You will not come back from that, Marth. Finds a down air as Marth comes back. Hey, how you doing? I'm back in the fight. There's a grab. Mennonite tries to save him, but ends up getting grabbed too. Pelvic Thrust does not do anything. I'm not sure what that does. I will definitely be changing that. Maybe. Everybody's fighting for this ledge. Lucina runs in for an up smash and finds the KO on Link. Marsh tries to do the same thing but gets denied. Spin Boys alive. Up air from Link does not KO Lucina. As Link is in a pretty bad spot, he gets tipped twice. Even though Lucina has no tipper, she finds the edge of, his of her sword. Mennonite off stage, things aren't looking good. Link back air is the open air. He's trying to be like Mennonite, swing at the open air. Maybe you hit something. Gets a grab on Marsh. Up, up there, up throw. No follow up. And there's an up smash on to Mennonite, finding Lucina's stop. There's an arrow shot by Link. <laughs> get away from my friend. He's trying to get back on stage. Up smash on Marsh. Will not kill. But Link, Mennonite shield looking bad. Gets grabbed. Shield breaker will find nobody. Unfortunately, she jumped too high. Up smash on Lucina, sitting here to free third damage. Mennonite living at 2-2-2. Maybe he'll, he's trying to use that rage. But he's healing up. Now he's at 2-17. Marsh immediately counters. And there's an up air from Lucina. Sealing out Mennonite stock. This is still doable. They've come back from this before. Both blue team and red team have strong comeback factors. There's the jab from Mennonite. And there's the stock from Marsh. Lucina's on her own. She can still clutch this out. She's not out of the fight yet. There's still hope for blue team. Red team might be trying to get this convincingly as she is now at 150. There's a dragon. There's a dragon dance as Link just kind of stands and watches and watches that beautiful form of the female swordsman. Elf smash found. Lucina's back at 143. She probably heals. No team combo. Spin boy is alive. Okay, misses his forward air. There's the boomerang. That's the hit. Smash Ball is live. Link will grab the Smash Ball and use it on Lucina. That is it, ladies and gentlemen. And Meta Knight's just sitting there swinging, getting his hits in. And that is the game. Red Team moves on to Grand Finals. A well thought out match. A very well thought out match.
All right, now we have our first. We have M China Link 14 in Grand Finals. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's level 50 because that is the cap. Amiibos cannot go any higher than level 50. Once they hit level 50, that's it. They can't go any higher than that. Now maybe Nintendo will make it level 100 in um, Smash 5. Who knows? All right. Now we have M China Link 14 sitting in Grand Finals, sitting pretty and waiting for the next opponent. As we move on to losers, round one. Going all the way back down to losers. If I had a 3DS, I would have ran losers over there. And you guys would just have to um, check the check the back to see how that was going. But you know what? We're gonna we're gonna stream every single team match so you can see. Now this was gonna take a while because we have six amiibos to save data with. So in the meantime, I'm gonna tell you guys a short little story for those of you who are still listening. This is a life lesson. The lesson is. Do not look over people over people's shoulders and look at their phones. You don't know what you're gonna. You do not know what you're gonna see. My explain here's my example. I'm at work. I'm just walking around. There's a pastor putting his stuff up, and he stops and he's staring at his phone. I just happen to walk by, and I just glance over his shoulder. Now, we all know new pictures are a thing. We all know that um, dick pictures are a thing. What I had no idea about. And this is how, and now I realize that this pastor was gay. Man boobs are a thing. He got a picture. <laughs> you didn't know about that? Of some man boobs. Wait, wait, you didn't man know boobs. about that? Man boobs. No? <laughs> I did not need to see anything pink, white, and hairy being touched and deformed, one up, one down, by two big hairy hands. That image will forever be in my mind. Third party party third party character predictions. Well it's pretty obvious that, you know, Crash may be coming to Smash. If um actually you know what? There are a lot of character there's a there are a lot of characters that can possibly come to Smash Brothers because um Nintendo just with the Switch, there are so many th third parties going on that you don't know who will be coming. There's just so many people. Alright, here we go. Now, losers round one, we have CC and the governor coming back and they will be fighting against <clears throat> Robot Pickles and Aminify Any Pie. Who will we knock out of this tournament? The salty the, the losers run starts now and here we go. Alright, first match, we are at Lilac Cruise. Okay, these amiibos like starting off with Lilac Cruise for round one, apparently. Okay, um, Pickles, says Sting, I'm not exactly sure what happened, I missed it. I was watching something else. The car just kind of stands there like, really, Bob? Really? Is it Mennonite? So, Mennonite. Huh. Megman's gonna have to put in some work now, his partner lo lost his stock already. It says Lilac, so maybe he got Lilac, I'm not exactly sure. Lucario just kind of sitting back and shooting slow moving over spears that aren't really doing helping out at all. The more fall stage. Alright, he recovers this time. Red team at high damage. Blue team looking pretty low. Even with a stock, even with a stock, even down a stock, they're still handling this match pretty well. Shock the banana into a grab. Bucko. Coming back. Down throw to dash attack. Not gonna find it. Up smash will find its mark and take out Falco's first stock. There goes the grab, and Mega Man will shoot him. Ricario unfortunately whiffs his recovery and misses the ledge, and there he goes. Now this match is back to even. Falco just goes right in. He's like, you know what? You, you know what? I'm CC. Mega Man, you're my favorite game and all. But right now, you're in my way. I'm trying to win this tournament. Or style. Either or. You're in my way. Throws him back off stage. His invincibility activates, and he is just powered up. Look at that super fighter robot go. This jumps right back on stage. CC, I love you, but take this charge shot to the chest. Go for a double down smash. That's Falco would do. That metal blade actually hitting the mark. Dodges a, dodges a charge shot right in front of his face and hits him with it, um, hit himself. Falco will immediately recover, not use the second jump. A fear, a fearful of the, of the blast zone, he recovers out of straight fire, 
Back kicks Mega Man and finds his first stop gone. Back kicks Diddy Kong and finds him way off stage. This is actually a good fight. Pretty balanced. Falco is not gonna stage. Mega Man is like recover, I dare you, and he does. Falco calling his bluff. Up smash will find Lucario. Won't won't kill Lucario, but will kill Falco. Charge attack will knock like uh, Lucario off stage. Lucario makes it back safely. He has so much aura and so much rage, so much power. What will Lucario do? He will down smash Diddy Kong and just immediately annihilate that stock. Gets grabbed. Diddy, miss, Diddy Kong misses the punish because Lucario is still in the air. Lucario wants to be a flyboy. They said he, he's living Little Max's dream. They said I could be an air fighter. Lucario is just living. He does not want to go. Up air from Mega Man at 50% will KO him. He will get his power up boost, but will serve him no justice as his stock is just kicked into oblivion. Falco recovering off stage. Lucario still sitting at 219, two stocks. Blue team on their final stock. Diddy Kong looking in a pretty bad, looking in a bad situation. Up smash by his mark will knock Lucario out of his place, resetting his power. And Mega Man sits and weeks. Takes him out with this fox with a slow little fox trot. Now which way are you gonna go? Right there. Here's a mega shot. Get out of here. Lucario by himself. It is possible for this man to make the biggest comeback. It is Lucario. That is a lot of damage. That is a lot of rage. And that is a lot of aura. I said the grab and another charge shot. One more percent and he will be at max rage. He is not not gonna land into the smash. He now has max rage. Max aura is actually 210%. There's a grab, back throw. There's a grab, back throw again. Not gonna kill. There's the ice, he breaks out immediately. He is a steel type. Ice is not very effective on this man. Jumping around, looking for something, gets a grow. Throw, back throws, did come, will not kill. And there's a down smash, but Mega Man interrupts with a charge shot, and that'll be the end of that match. As Blue Team moves on. Good job, blue team. Gonna keep this, um, keep it going, keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. We're gonna hop right into round two. Uh, hopefully, this tournament doesn't last too long. That Whitney gets in trouble for her mom for staying out too late. And if it does, we will take a long intermission. As we are at Dreamland now. You're like, you know what? Those platforms are okay, but I like platforms and a stage that doesn't move. Plus, there's gonna be a lot of pineapples here, so let's see how this works out. Falco deciding to roll out of the way of those charge shots instead of actually charging to reflect them. Okay, Falco hitting, learning two up smashes. This is definitely melee, and runs into an up smash himself. Like, oh, that's what that feels like. Mega Man is five percent away from his um, power up. Will he get it? Finally, it gets reflected, but to Millville, Bird Diddy Kong gets kicked off the stage. Will he re does recover? Makes it back right on time. Lucario gets Pineapple because he drifts too far underneath Dreamland. There's an up smash by Diddy Kong as Falco is flying into the sky. Up smash, not finding anything. Lucario wants this Mega Man gone. Will he be able to find it? Oh, there's a team combo. A shocky banana into a grab. Great, great combo from Diddy Kong. Another shocky banana just to stun Lucario as he runs over to Falco to hit him, but then doesn't get anything. Mega Man will, will recover, as will Diddy Kong gets hit, but still cuts it back. Falco tries to do something stylish and pays for his um and pays for his mistake. That is definitely a C Andre move. One one one. Okay, back back there we'll find Diddy Kong off stage. Cario's back there would have killed, but it does not land. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh, what a shot. Okay. Diddy Kong just got deleted. That boy we'll see him in Smash 5. And Lucario gets sent into the air, surprisingly enough. <laughs> Man, it's like, you know what? Get him out of here. Lucario again with the pineapple. 
He's died twice to that. That is super stocks gone. Sheriff stocks comes back to the game. Says sorry, bro. I won't do it again. And does it again. <laughs> and that is the match. This is why Siandre and Matt are always fighting because Matt's trying to do something. It doesn't work. Siandre says. Siandre says. Matt says it'll work. Watch. And Siandre goes. No, it won't work. Stop doing that. It'll work. Trust me. And you know what? It didn't work. Didn't work the first time. Didn't work the second time. You took your stop, and it didn't work the third time. Now Falco's here by himself. He's kind of just rolling around. He's like, you know, I'm gonna lose, but I'm gonna lose in style. Take that shot. Grab the monkey. Up oh, gets hit by two back airs. A back air and a forward air actually reflects, <laughs> reflects the Mega Man lemon. Like I'm not hungry. Walks out of a forward smash and runs into an up smash that slowly takes it away, and Blue Team will advance, knocking. CC and Governor out of the tournament because Governor wanted Governor wanted to prove a combo that CC said time and time again. If I can D out of out of it, it is not a true combo. All right. Now waiting at the end of at at losers finals, waiting at the end of this bracket is D Dark Knight and Link Knight. Who is going to make this losers run all the way over there? Let's find out, shall we? All right. Now let's get on to losers round another losers another round one losers battle as we have Hentai Man and Anime Sean finally coming back. Hopefully their eyes are okay and they haven't been watching too much anime and hentai to fight. I'm talking looking at El Hentai Man especially because I know hentai is hard to peel away from, but bruh, you know, turn it right now and you need to support your teammate. They'll be fighting against our Japanese superiors, Ian and Greg. And you know what? Next tournament, I'll be saving all these battles and re all these replays so I can upload them up to the channel so we can view them one by one. I messed up already, but hey, you know what? We're almost done with the tournament. No, no point in doing it right now. Here we go. Alright, starting it off at Town City. Here we go. Actually, you know what? I'm going to continue doing the commentary like this. Just like that guy we saw at MSM, the best commentators in the world. <laughs> As Corn finds an up smash and a forward smash, Blue Team's looking at a deficit. Jigglypuff and Dark Pit are pretty much juggling around each other. And I'm putting myself to sleep doing this! Holy crap! Alright, Blue Team... Uh, looks like Red Team is... Uh, I was questionable what Corn was doing. Looks like Red Team is um, came here to play, Blue Team making a comeback. Pikachu praising the sun and knocking him out at the exact same time. Praise the sun, ladies and gentlemen. Dark Souls is alive. Maybe I'll just go into. Maybe I'll rewatch the stream and timestamp all the matches since I can't record them now. There's a corn. There's a counter from corn. Red team is here to play. Red team is awake now. The eyes have been healed. Looks like they were strategizing while they were waiting. They did have a long time to wait, losers. Pikachu makes it back to stay safely. Pikachu comes to neutral areas, save her partner, and Corn is out. Not sure what killed. I think it was the um, slingshot. Pikachu plays to the sun again and knocks Dark Pit out of the stay out of there, knocking away his second spot. Pikachu looks for the up smash, but Villager counters with a turnip. So I'll let you know, if there's a Pikachu above you, you can counter the up smash with a turnip. Dark Pit unable to find the kill on Pikachu, but Villager finds a turnip on Pikachu as Corn finds that um, ant sitting on, on Villager's neck, and he says, you know what, let me get that for you. Goodbye. That's a grab. 
Pikachu tries to save his partner a little too late, but still gets a pretty thunder shot. Down throw int. Uh, that was a counter. I think that was a counter. Yeah, that was a counter. Oh, villager. Blue team on their final stocks. Now that I realize this. A bowling ball that Pikachu jumps right back into will find the KO. As blue team looks to come this back. Smash ball is live. We have a corn's final smash. Do we have a corner? She misses it. Corn wishes her final smash, and he gets punished with a back throw death from Villager. That is Ian for you. If you mess up, and Ian is watching, this man will roast you. And Smash, he will kill you. Did you really miss your final smash <laughs> on somebody right above you? No, you don't deserve to live. You don't deserve to live. Get out of here. And he's saying that to Pikachu right now. <laughs> he's trying to get him out of here. Ian, the man. Oh, is he living? He's living. Dark Pit finding those arrows. Let's see if Ian's rage will bring that, bring them back. Can Ian bring it back for him? Can Dark Pit bring this back? Electric arc, back throw. He's still living. And there goes the finisher from Corn. Ah, oh, a quick exchange. Dark Pit finds the KO on Pikachu, but Corrin takes it away. Dark Pit's final stop. Alright, that concludes round one. First win going to Blue Team, I believe. Yes, no. First win going to Red Team. Blue Team needs to find an answer for them. That was actually a very, very, very close match. But these guys are pretty much evened out. Let's see if they can bring it back in the next fight. Uh, hold on one second, ladies and gentlemen. Hello? I'm at home. I'm streaming a match and I'm doing commentary. Do I have to? I don't think so. I can. I'm gonna check my phone to see if she texts me. She told me I didn't have to worry about it, but that was this morning. Oh no, I'll text you that because um, I'm trying to do this. I'm still commentating. I'll just let you know what happens. Okay. Alright, I'll see. Later. I didn't know how to call him, so he might need to go get him something to eat if I don't have to take it around. Okay, so I'm gonna have to step away from commentary for a minute. Gotta take care of some business. Who you're gonna have on the mic now? And it looks like um, this is not <laughs> this is not um, Red Team's um, level. As Sean has basically SD all of his stocks to um, Pineapple, and they're not losing, not caring. Okay, looks like he's found the recovery. Corn finally learned how to recover on Dreamland, but a little too late as Blue Team is still sitting at all three of their stocks. I'm not seeing how Corn actually brings this back, but not giving up the anime way indeed. Never give up. Corn off stage. This could be it. There it is. Blue Team saying we'll take all of those SDs and this match. Alright, moving on to round three. <clears throat> and we're at Lilac Cruise. Now the now corn can recover, so maybe it actually do some work this time and not, you know, forfeit the stock. Pikachu praising the sun getting Hits a lot of damage, pressing the sun again, not finding anything. But uh, up smash as Dark Pit tries to recover. And another praise the sun from Pikachu, not taking the stock away. And Dark Pit just flies right over their heads, and Pikachu's like, I know where you're going, I'm gonna follow you, and I'm gonna punish you with this back air. Pikachu not happy with that match, neither is Red Team, as they are just going to work.
We get you a praise in the sun, knocking out Villager stock, charging up up smash, up smash all the way up, hitting Dark Pit, sending him to 58%. Uh, pay four smash and get you off stage. To get you a living, run so up smash not going to be enough to kill. To get you being a lightweight, but that three turn up up there will kill. It's saying get him out of here. I'm tired of looking at your yellow face, you king rat. Getting a grab. Darkfist saying let go of my buddy. Pikachu landing your front. Darkfist ignores Pikachu. He's like you're not an issue to me. You are nobody. You are nothing. I'm gonna take out your whore of a teammate, even if even if it's not Bayonetta, you're a whore. Not finding the kill on Corn yet. Still sitting at 203 percent. And did I say that Corn can recover in this stage? Well, Sean proved me a liar. A shield break on Dark Pit. Not a uh, pretty bad punish. Dark Pit flies. Doesn't seem to know where the ledge is. Corn does a grounded up B. That surprisingly comes to work. Darkfit with those standard jabs into a falling up air. Darkfit showing Corrin how to recover in this stage. It's not that hard, bro. bro. Facing the sun and getting Corrin out of here. And going Darkfit out of here. Corrin getting Village out of here. As Blue Team sits on their final stocks. This match is not over yet. I've seen some incredible kills lately. They can still do this. They can still win. Uh, Pikachu plays the sun, putting a lot of damage on Dark Pit. They didn't take Pikachu out first. That plays the sun is just taking him out. <laughs> Smash Ball is live. Villager finds it. He's gonna build a house. He's building a house on that Pikachu. I'm tired of you, Rat. I'm tired of you. Get out of my city. I'm mayor. You are goodbye. <laughs> Villager just drop balls, dropping balls, drop balls, drop balls. Unable to find a way back inside, Dark Pit is like, I found a way outside, up in the sky. Down throws a grab, as Dark Pit finds a KO on Kamui, and knocks her out of here. Pikachu <laughs> turns around, Villager comes in, drops the ball on Pikachu, and there goes her stock. Tries to take out Dark Pit, the grab to Force Smash, and Blue Team will advance, knocking Red Team out of the tournament. Oh, wow. Comeback factor is real indeed. <laughs> All right, tap it up for those guys. Okay, so we're gonna uh, keep this going. Advance. H Man, Hentai Man, and Anime Shop put up a good fight. Fortunately, Blue Team came back with a comeback. We're gonna uh, save that up and move on to the next fight. Okay, so unfortunately, I will have to be leaving soon. So I'm gonna leave it to Whitney to keep the matches going. In my absence, she, if she decides to or not, there may or may not be commentary. So, passing it on to Whitney.
Hello, hello, hello. This is Amtron, or also known as Whitney, and I'm going to be here to be in charge of the commentary right now. And um, up next in the battle is going to be JT and Alex versus Minify and Pickles. So let's go ahead and set that up right now. Go ahead and have Team Animal right here. Up against Team Elko, which is uh, Little Pickles and Mega Man right here. Now, I've never done commentary before, and I'm going to try my hardest, so go ahead go ahead and start the match, and go ahead over right now. Yeah, one, two, three, so let's get started. Five, six, five, five, seven, And we're on to Smashville. Of course, everyone would love Smashville, and Kirby just made a start already. Yeah. Oh, shoot, everything is going on right now. Uh oh. Apparently, I just made a mistake here. So, I'm gonna go ahead and start it over. And Epic follow me. Oopsie. Alrighty, in the beginning of the commentary, I already messed everything up. <laughs> Let's start over and let's take two for a moment. So we got JT and Alex versus Pickles and, and Minify. So let's go ahead and start this time and probably they're going to be choosing another stage, I believe. So let's go ahead and start this match. First round, take two. Okay, so we have Final Destination on the very start, and already Blue Team is in the very lead so far. Yeah, I'll take that back. Red Team is in the lead. So we'll go ahead and tag Kirby over here, Spy Dr. Diddy Kong. Has Dr. Mario over here. You can use the Explosive Shield on Diddy Kong. Oh, man. What do we have? I'm not good at this, so whatever.
Yeah, I'm not done. I'm done. Oh, that was annoying. Huh? That was annoying. Why? And I wasn't. I told him. Oh. I'm not good at this. You don't have to be good at this. I'm not good at it. I'm just talking. I can't keep up with this match. Same here. Yeah. You just look for the big stuff and just pop on that. Make the final smash. Yeah. Right. <laughs> That's hot. That's why. Seems like that match. I'm going to go. We're going to take a short little intermission. I got to take Whitney home and then take my car to my father. And then I'll be back with more commentating. Uh, this thing's going for two hours. I'm going to end the stream and then I'm coming back. And hopefully, when I come back, I can fix the quality so it's not too bad. Alright, peace out, guys. <laughs> 